Guybrush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Who's gonna make me, shorty? Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe I won't kill you right now. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Hi. 
I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks. That's all I need to know. Okay, but don't be shy if you think of a question. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Where is that thing? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is, make anything you could name, but I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual, and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, oh, yuck. The barkeep might see me. Leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well... No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Uh, excuse me? What is it? Long time no see. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. 
Hey, how old pig biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. Hmm, only one guest. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I'd like to have my fortune read. 
I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Well, I'll just take a little. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. This door appears to be locked. Looks murky. I don't want to touch it with my hands. It looks murky. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine! All mine! Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred.
This is creepy feeling. I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years. I said, I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up, or else. empty. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't! So get the f*** out of here! Get out of my room!
I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Ah, here it comes. I think it's yo-yo string. I think it's yo-yo string. It won't fit in my pocket. This is a cold soup. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stu? How gauche? We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie.
brought me any more ingredients? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. Do you have the final ingredient? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two. Four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. No! 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 That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. 
His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. I love a house with that nautical look. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it? No way, man. Tell me more about that necklace thing you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck job. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Navy dreads. Thanks, man. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Everything looks all blurry. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man. Consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. 
only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threakwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. I, Guybrush Threepwood, is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big One. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. 